Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another amazing episode of Under the Radar Season 3. Today we'll be covering Kobe Paras. Yes, I have finally said it, Kobe Paras. The reason why that we're talking about my guy is because he is officially the third Paras to go professional in his family. First, it was his dad, Benji, who had an amazing legendary career here in the Philippines. Of course, his older brother, Andre, who's just been drafted and who is now playing in the PBA with the Blackwater Bossing, formerly known as the Blackwater Elite. Now, the reason why I'm here today talking about Kobe Paras is my guy recently signed with a B-League team, the Negata Albrex BB of the Japanese Basketball League or the Japan B League. Now, mind you that the Negata Albrex is actually a Division 1 team. Now, what became of Kobe Paras? How did he get into this position of playing in one of the best leagues outside the NBA? Let's rewind the clock. Kobe entered Cathedral High School in Los Angeles in the middle of the 2013 to 2014 school year where he played for the school's basketball team, the Phantoms. Prior to entering Cathedral, Kobe attended La Salle Green Hills in Mandaluyong in the Philippines, or LSGH here in the Philippines, who is known to be one of the best places to attend school in terms of, you know, education and athletics. I mean, trust me, I'd know. Now, where he also played for, obviously, their varsity team. However, Kobe decided to play against playing for the Phantoms for the 2015 to 2016 school year. He would have been eligible to play for the Phantoms until the first semester due to an 8 semester limit. The eligibility limitation was due to the difference between the academic years in the Philippines and the United States. Here in the Philippines, if you ladies and gentlemen don't know, it's completely different from the schedule in the States. Like when I mean different, I mean different. Instead, he decided to play for Middlebrook's Academy Prep for his final year of high school while continuing to attend Cathedral. Middlebrook's is not regulated by the California Interscholastic Federation or the CIF regulation, which is basically like the best high school basketball league in terms of California. Mind you, this is the exact league where the Sierra Canyon people or the Sierra Canyon Blazers, LeBron James Jr.'s high school competes, which allowed Kobe to avoid conflict between school years. Kobe prepped at Cathedral in Los Angeles, California before his senior year at Middlebrooks Academy. In high school, he was an honor roll student, a member of the National Honor Society, a Star Scholar honoree, and a summa cum laude graduate. At Cathedral, he averaged 15 points, 4.3 rebounds, and 2.5 steals as a junior. He was an All-State nominee, first-team All-Delray League, and ranked 24th best player in California by Cal High Sports or California High School Sports. He helped lead Cathedral to the Regional Championship game or the State Final Four, basically, and the team finished 9th in the state, which technically makes you the best within the top 10, you know, in terms of California high school basketball and number one in the Division 3A California Interscholastic Federation, yet again CIF. In 2015 to 2016, Kobe played a senior campaign with Middlebrooks Academy, where he earned a McDonald's All-American Game nomination, which means that people want to see you in a McDonald's All-American Game jersey. Basically, they want you to become one of the best high school players in the whole entire U.S. And he was also the PEC 16 Conference MVP, and he helped lead Middlebrooks Academy to the regular season PEC 6 Conference Championship. He participated in several elite basketball showcases, including the Adidas Nations event, where he had met and fought against some of the best NBA players that are currently suited up professionally today, like Buddy Heald of the Sacramento Kings, Ben Simmons, who... We all don't know where he's going to go next after his hiatus with the Philadelphia 76ers. A past under the radar employee and member, Bam Adebayo, who's been stellar becoming an all-star in Miami. Wayne Selden, who's having a very successful career overseas. Antonio Blakeney, who's been up and down the NBA and overseas. And 
Gershon Yabusele, who has played for the Celtics a couple times and now is a member of my beloved Real Madrid team. Lonzo Ball, who has gotten the bag with the Chicago Bulls. And of course, Jared the Fro Allen, the guy that can guard LeBron James, yet Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Anthony Davis. And he has blocked all three of them, who is also a member of the Cleveland Cavaliers. And he also fought against Thomas Bryant and Wenyan Gabriel. And he attended the Adidas All-American camps. And he also played AAU with the world-famous Compton Magic, who has had many amazing NBA players go through in and out of their doors. On the Adidas grassroots circuit, and he was selected to the Adidas All-American camp. The International Title Elite Showcase in the Adidas Nations. Kobe is considered to be a 4-star recruit by Scout.com as well as a 3-star recruit in both ESPN, Rivals.com, and 24-7 Sports. Kobe committed to attend college, which is basically Division I college in UCLA or University of California, Los Angeles. Sadly, on June 30, 2016, Kobe withdrew from UCLA after failing to commit to their academic requirements. According to his high school, Middlebrook stated that Kobe was a 100% a academic qualifier for any Division I college through the NCAA Eligibility Center. And there was around 80 Division I schools that were ready to sign Kobe. On July 18, 2016, the Creighton Blue Jays that announced that they've actually signed our boy Kobe Paras. And Kobe is the first Filipino to join the Creighton Blue Jays. Then Kobe subsequently left the school on my dad's birthday, April 29, 2017. On May 9, 2017, Kobe announced on his Twitter account that he verbally committed to play for the Matadors under coach Reggie Theus of Cal State Northridge. However, on March 9, 2018, Kobe announced that he would be leaving Cal State Northridge to pursue a professional basketball career. On July 10, 2018, Kobe announced that he will be joining the UP Fighting Maroons, one of the best colleges to attend here in the Philippines, not only for education, but for basketball. Following the footsteps of his brother, Benji, who is the member of the 1986 championship team, saying that the University of the Philippines is the most respected educational institution in the country. And adding that, the attraction of UP is not just because of its basketball program, but the world-class education that it's known for. Kobe served a one-year residency period before he was eligible to play for the Fighting Maroons in starting the UAAP Season 82, as he helped the UP Fighting Maroons clinch three straight victories. Kobe put up averages of 16 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 assists per game along with 1.1 steals and 2.5 and blocks per game, earning him a spot at the UAAP National Mythical Team. Which basically means that you're one of the best players in college. Amidst the speculations that Kobe would pursue a basketball career in the US after he announced that he was going pro and leaving CSUN. Kobe clarified that he is open to playing with any professional basketball league. Also, by not signing with an agent, he would actually still remain el eligible to return to CSUN. But on September 5, 2021, just a couple days ago, Kobe Paras signed with the Negata Albrex BB of the Japanese B League, or the Japanese Basketball League, which is technically a really good news for Kobe. Now, let me tell you about this move. This was an amazing move by Kobe. Honestly, this has to be the best league or one of the best leagues outside of the NBA. Honestly, Negata Albrex is a pretty good place for Kobe to thrive in. I mean, Negata ain't that great of a team overall. I mean, they're solid, you know, they're cool. But in the East Division, they're the ninth last season with a 16 and 38 record. And mind you, okay, most of their locals didn't even average double digits. All right. Roscoe Allen led the team with 18 points per game. Jason Washburn with 17.4 
points per game, Alan Durham with 16 points per game, Richard Hendricks with 12 points per game, and Mark St. Fort with 10.7 points per game. And the not good, you know, news for Nagata fans is Kihei Iragashi and Yudai Nishida, two of their best locals, actually left for a better situation. Uh, Kihei Iragashi is actually their starting point guard, number 7. He'd average 7.5 points per game in 25 minutes with 2 rebounds and 4 assists. But here's the thing, here's the little kicker here. He actually left them for Gunma. Gunma, if I could remember correctly, was a better team than Negata. Alright? Now, another thing. Their second best local, Yodai Nishida, ended up moving on to the Mikawa Seahorses. And also, uh, Tipe Kashiwagura ended up leaving for the Shiga Lake Stars. But there is good news in the horizon for Kobe. Along with him going to Nagata, they were able to sign a monster of a man. And his name is Chili Nemfawe. Last time I heard about this guy was New Mexico State, you know, NCAA in the States. I remember this guy was from South Africa, from Johannesburg. And then good news for. Uh, Nagata fans, they were able to acquire Zen Endo. And Zen Endo is a good young guard, 6 feet, uh, really cool. But he still has to develop his scoring ability. I mean, he is coming from Osaka. So I really hope that they could build around Kobe. And I think it's perfect that they have Kobe because Kobe is such a strong presence inside the paint. So he's really going to run the money on them locals, you know? And the imports are going to be quite surprised on how athletic this guy really is. And I think this is a perfect opportunity for him to totally transform his game. And to really show us how much work he's been placing this whole entire summer in the US. And I'm expecting this guy to at least average 8 to 6 points per game. Okay, as much as I love Kobe, I am setting some mid exceptions and mid um, expectations for now. So I want to get surprised and I really, really want to get surprised by Kobe. I mean, mind you, this guy hasn't played competitive basketball in a year and a half. There's a difference between scrimmages. Yes, you get your reps in, your uh, conditioning in, but it's different when you're getting pressured by time and going against uh, different competition, you know, not just the locals in Japan, but really being pressured by guys who are bigger than you, faster than you and stronger than you. And I think this has to be the best decision in Kobe's career. So good luck, my guy. I'm not discounting his work. He has worked super hard for this. Congratulations, Kobe. And I hope I can see you soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you love today's video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I shall see you all next week. Bye-bye.